In this video, we are going to discuss about the advanced simulation mode and its characteristics and also how it is useful in using in the packet tracer in practical, we will be looking into it. So you see, now it is in real time, we will go into the simulation mode and you can see the event list has popped out. So we already discussed about this simulation mode tab as well as the same simulation panel also. Now we will be discussing about some advanced simulation mode concepts. So if you see here, this is the toggle list window and you can see this, this PDU list window can be seen in the short form or else you can enlarge it or you can see in this side here. So this is the PDU list window. So we have just toggled the PDU list window and we will discuss about this PDU list window. You can see here, you can create a scenario regarding the PDU list and you can when you click on new so that it, you can enter some PDU list window details here and it is also minimizable as well. So when you click here, you see the simulation panel is came as new as new so that you see here the scenario can be created and also when you see or when you create a new PDU list window, you have some features here that you have to create a new PDU or complex PDU here. So when you wanted to enter the frame, so you can see the switch to has no functional ports, but when you click on capture forward, you can see the successful frames has been shifting or it has been forwarding from the switch to to PC 9 and PC 10. But here the only problem you see that the ports are getting dropped here. So why? The reason is when you click on it, you can see the fast ethernet 0 slash 0 receives the frame. But the problem here is there is no service that accepts this frame on the PC. So that's the reason the packet is or the frame is dropped here. So you can see the details of the PDU formats here. The Ethernet 802.3, you can see this is the list of how the PDU format is. You can see here premiable destination address is given, source address is auto selected as well as you can see here the LLC details and also about the STP BPDU details about the protocol, version, message type, root ID, bridge ID, port ID as well as forward delay in how many seconds, max age of the packet or a frame and also hello time reminder also here. So this is about the PDU information on the device PC 10 and it will be same on the device PC 9 also. So you see when you select this port fast ethernet 0, it shows that the fast ethernet receives the frame. But the problem is here, the layer 2 IEEE 802 header doesn't have the service details that accepts this frame. So that's the reason it drops the frame here. So coming to inbound PDU, it also has the same details as PC 10 given clearly. So when you wanted to create a complex PDU, so you can see about the source settings here and the source device is PC9 as we have chosen PC9 and outgoing port is fast ethernet 0 or you can select manually as fast ethernet 0 or any other available fast ethernet or else you can automatically select option also is available here. So coming to PDU settings, so we can see the select application, so you can DNS the number or else you can see finger, FTP, HTTP, HTTPS, IMAP, NetBIOS, PING, POP, STFP and so on. But we have chosen PING as the application. So you can enter the destination IP address manually or else you can go and select the device which is on the workspace and you can also see the sequence number and size can be given as when your requirement so you can see simulation settings so one shot time in seconds it is given and you can create on create pdu so that it will forward and it will automatically deliver it to the destination address so this is about the advanced feature of the simulation mode and also you can see about the event list it can be, as we have discussed, it can be minimized and it can be shown to the simulation panel here. And also you can see about the time seconds, the switch 2 has used this STP protocol to send to PC 10 as well as PC 9 
and switch 2 from PC 10 to PC 9 as well as the switch and so on. So you can see capture and forward it will automatically send the details by step by step. So this is about the advanced concepts in the simulation mode.